Discomfort is not a nice to have. It is a prerequisite ah. to growth. It is a necessity. The only way you can change the physical body and the human body is to push it to a point of appropriate discomfort. Most people don't know this, but there's a brain structure called the anterior mid cingulate cortex. What's interesting about this brain area is there are now a lot of data mm -hmm. showing that when people do something, and this is the important part, that they don't want to do. Right. It's not about adding more work, it's about adding more work that you don't want to do. Yes. This brain area gets bigger. It's hard. It's hard to change a habit that maybe you've had for Bingo. decades. It's not easy. If it was easy, you would already be doing it. And people have such a fear of discomfort. In many ways, scientists are starting to think of the anterior mid cingulate cortex not just as one of the seats of willpower, right. but perhaps actually the seat of the will to live. Ultimately, what we're talking about is change and leaning into change. Yeah. And what most people unfortunately get blinded by, um, David hit the word right on the head, is uncertainty. So they yes. they find comfort in a perceived certainty yeah. Yeah. of, I, as you said, the devil I know versus the devil I don't. Yeah. But what the elite understand is, if you keep doing what you've been doing, you will keep getting what you've been getting. Right. If you don't like what you've been getting, you need right. to change what you've been doing. That's the hack. The hack is going to suck. You know exactly what to do, exactly what to do. It just sucks doing it. There's no magic pill or a magic potion. All you can do is outwork the man that God created or woman in you. So for any elite performer, they're never satisfied with the level they currently are. They always want to matriculate up and they know that it's that old saying. I think Marshall Goldsmith said it first, what got you here won't get you That's there. Right. So they realize, another one of my favorite quotes, and I'm a self-diagnosed quote nerd, if nothing changes, nothing right. changes. That's right. There is no secret. You know what to do to fix your body. You know what to do to fix your relationships. You know what to do to make more money. The problem is, is that you're not able to do it. I need to have an understanding of what's at risk if I don't make this change. W what am I risking by not changing this behavior? If I continue to do this for the rest of my life, what's at risk? And many times the answer to that is happiness, fulfillment, uh, maxing out your potential, all those types of things. You can take very small steps, even ones that might be shameful in their size, and you have to admit that to yourself. But once you get the ball rolling, it doesn't roll in a linear fashion, it rolls in a geometric fashion. But you keep showing up. And you and, and you start to you start to kind of feel a little bit more comfortable in that environment, right? And and it's very subtle. It's very subtle. This has been my whole life. It's been my whole life. Not not a single thing we've said is easy to actually do. If it was easy, people wouldn't even need to listen to this because they're already doing, doing it. it. Yeah, so we know through our own experiences these things are hard.